Hey guys, what's going on? As you can see, I'm in the van. We're actually in Enid, Oklahoma right now. Um, if you've been following along with the van, we've been building it out. We've done a lot of stuff to it. And right now we are actually on the road headed to New Mexico to do some fly fishing. Uh, we've been planning this trip for a while now. We were kind of wanting to get the van ready for this trip. And so we got everything going on it. We've uh, done a few more things that we'll show you whenever we probably get to camp this evening. and. Uh, but we've been on the road since about 4 a.m. this morning. It's, I believe, a little after 8. We stopped in uh, Enid, Oklahoma here to fuel up, get a few things, go to the bathroom. But um, as soon as they get back out, we'll be back on the road. Hey everybody, this is our friend Mackenzie. He uh, is actually my brother-in-law. That's true. Fun fact. We're married but, twins. Married twins. But uh, he's taking over driving right now. And then... Uh, you all know Denton's here. Look at them. <laughs> but we're going to head out right now, get back on the road. Hey guys, we're almost to Gaiman. Uh, <laughs> shut up. This is Mackenzie's first time seeing a vlog, so he doesn't know how to act. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to <laughs> Shoot My Knee Arms YouTube channel. <laughs> I mean, he's pretty spot on though. He's got it figured out. But we're almost to Gaiman. We're about 15 miles out. Uh, we're more than halfway what's to up? Taos, hey, and uh, so we're gonna probably oh, stop in Gaiman, get a little food, and then we'll be back on the road. The sun does rise Laying in the bed with bloodshot eyes Late in the evening when the sun sinks low That's about the time my rooster That's right, we made it to Mexico We're still about three hours away from uh, Taos where we're gonna be at But we're getting uh, awful close now Clean. Love me ragged, but I don't fret. Cause there ain't been one slow me down none yet. Get me drinking that moonshine. Get me higher than the grocery bill. Take my troubles to the high wall. Throw them in the river and get your bill. We've been sniffing that cocaine. Well, we made it. We first stopped, we had to come by the fly shop to get all of our stuff. Uh, Denton got a couple stickers. We decided on uh, the this side of the van, we're gonna do all the places that we go and everything. So he got us a Taos fly shop. Looking good. So we're gonna be filling up this whole side of the back glass with uh, all the places we go and all the all the things that we do. Well guys, we got here to um, Rila Verde. I keep saying that wrong, but the guys at the flash shop told me how to say it and I already forgot. But they have designated camping sites all throughout and we drove through a lot of them, didn't find nothing, didn't find nothing. We were getting kind of discouraged that we weren't gonna be able to find something. We pulled through this one that's just right here, beautiful by the river. I'll walk down there and show that to you here in a second. And uh, found a campsite, luckily enough. So. We um, are getting the tents set up. Denton's gonna be staying in the van over there, but we got a fire pit, got a grill, even got a little covered area with picnic table. So that's super nice. But we're uh, trying to get settled in. We may cook a few little dinners here, and then uh, we'll wake up in the morning and get at it. So this is our camp. You walk right down here, you can see Denton's already couldn't couldn't stand it. Already down here. But right here we're on the Rio Grande River. It's beautiful, nice and calm tonight. Catch anything? No. <laughs> Denton's throwing an Arkansas bass fly. Catching the tree, but man, 
The river is beautiful. There's beautiful canyon sides all around us. Uh, good morning. So last night was our first night here. Um, I think this morning it's about it's in the 30s anyway, so it was a little bit of a cold night. I stayed pretty warm in my sleeping bag. Uh, I guess Mackenzie, he's over there getting some firewood right now. He uh, was just gonna, you know, cowboy up, and he didn't bring a sleeping bag. He just brought some blankets. I guess he almost died last night, but. I think tonight, last night was our coldest night we're gonna have while we're here. Denton was in the van all night. I think he's still asleep, so we better go check on him. So Mackenzie, did you almost die last night? Slight hypothermia set in. Next time I'll be more prepared. <laughs> uh, we're gonna build a little fire this morning, warm our old bones, and I think we got some bacon and some other stuff. We're gonna cook some breakfast and probably wait for the sun to come out and warm up a little bit before we get in the water. Well, we finished up breakfast and everything. It's about 8.30. So now we're walking down, didn't barge in the river. Here goes McKenzie, we got everything tied up on the uh, fly rods. So, uh, see if we can't get in some. July is stealing cheap And beg you from my knees Make you think she needs it this time She'll tear a hole in you Well guys, they were up down the river and I came up here on this gravel bar Started fishing this little channel here Ran me a little rainbow First fish of the day, first fish of the trip. Nice little fish. Super happy with that. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put them back. Okay guys, so we got to a kind of a slow start this morning, but I uh, got a fish landed. That was cool, first fish of the trip. But I think we're gonna run in, grab some food. Um, we talked to a guy, he was telling us some plots uh, up river from where we're at. So we might try those this evening. He says that really turns on in the evening. So we're gonna get some food, um, kind of rest up, and then uh, hit it again this evening. So we came up river from where we're at this morning. That's the Taos Junction Bridge. Still the Rio, but we're gonna fish this portion and just follow up the canyon here, follow the river, see what we can get into. It's better to feel pain than nothing at all. The opposite of love's indifference. So pay attention now. I'm standing on your porch. So unfortunately, I think my microphone for my camera uh, quit working. So I'm on my iPhone right now, which I got to go back to camp and plug everything in and see if I have any audio. But the way it looks, I don't think I got any audio for the last couple of clips. But, you know, we power through. Um, today was a slow day to say the least it wasn't what you'd want on a two-day fishing trip really but we got to see some amazing country um 
we got to see some amazing country. We're uh, super nice out here. I don't know if all y'all can see. I think that's Mackenzie going down the river. Denton's still fishing a little bit, trying to get those last couple of minutes in for the day. But, um, man, it's just absolutely gorgeous any which way you look. The uh, Rio Grande Gorge here is just incredible. But anyhow, I caught two fish. Um, that last fish I caught, I didn't get a picture of it. It was just, we were standing in the middle of the river and didn't want to get the camera out and all that. I think Denton took a picture on the disposable camera. Uh, he brought a couple of those just for, take some cool pictures. But um, yeah, it was a super slow day. I think tomorrow we have plans to go to the Cimarron Valley try to find a campsite there and uh, fish it for a day before we have to go home on Sunday. So hopefully we can get out there and catch some fish. We talked to the guys at the fly shop in town and they were saying that um, fish were biting out there. So uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know, it's it's discouraging whenever you come all this way and only catch two fish the first day. I was the only one that caught any fish, which um, kind of sucks for the other two guys. It was good for me, I guess. but. Wanted to get them on some fish. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. You never know, we might wake up and have a new plan. So we are uh, went ahead and broke down camp this morning. It's Saturday morning. Uh, we have one more day. We're just supposed to be heading home tomorrow. Um, as beautiful as the Rio Grande Gorge has been, um, we hadn't been able to catch a lot of fish. Like I said yesterday, we only had a two fish day. and. It's not what you want on a short trip like this. If we had a week, you know, we could probably hang out and, you know, work it and figure out where they're at and what to throw. But on such a short trip, we're just gonna have to pack up and move on. I think this morning we're gonna head to the uh, Cimarron Valley National Forest or National Park. Um, we, Canyon. huh? Cimarron Canyon. Cimarron Canyon. I'm sorry. I know. Um. But we're gonna head there. We we really hadn't planned on going there, but when we came through to come here, it looked just so beautiful and we just loved it. And they had um, some really nice streams off just right off the side of the road. So they got some places to camp. So we're gonna try to get over there early this morning, find a place to camp and then get on the water and uh, start fishing. Cimarron Valley, uh, Benton. and we just got our uh, camp set up. Man, this is the most underrated place we've been to yet. You know, if you get online and look up uh, New Mexico, uh, places camp around Taos and stuff, uh, we never seen this once on there. And everybody's, you know, talking about the gorge, the gorge, gorge, and the gorge was beautiful. It's definitely something you need to go see if you haven't seen it. But with that being said, this. It's super nice. Uh, we got a little tent camp side. This is, you know, just for tents. So Denton's actually sleeping in the parking lot in the van, but uh, me and Mackenzie got our tent set up. We got uh, everything brought down here. Just kind of had to walk in a little ways. It's not too bad, but we're literally right next to the creek. So, uh, man, it's gonna be awesome. We talked to a couple different park ranger guys and they were telling us that the fishing through here is just amazing. He had, one guy told me, I don't know, I haven't looked it up, so I don't know if it's true or not, but he said there's more fish per mile uh, in this stream, these rivers, than anywhere else in the state. So that really blows my mind, but uh, it's beautiful through here. I love it. I'm definitely, this is a little hidden gem and we're so happy that we found it. I think it's definitely gonna turn our trip around. Last day here, last night. Um, 
this trip has not gone how we were hoping to be honest with you um we've seen some amazing country though i uh, really love everything that we've seen um all the places that we've been it's uh definitely it's a place to come if you haven't um the you know northern new mexico area but ideally we would have caught a lot more fish if it was you know up to us but it's uh I don't know, it's funny, you ask one person what they think you should do, and they tell you their opinion, then you'll ask, like we asked the fly shop, and he hooked us up with all the flies, he said, these are gonna be, you'll catch, you'll catch, you know. And obviously we haven't. And then today, right, literally walked right up on our camp, a guy with a little bait pole and some salmon eggs was just pulling fish out where we've been standing all day long, trying to catch, just casting over and over. So, kind of discouraging um but nonetheless you know this trip was more or less just to come out here and see this part of the country and be out here with our friends and family but um as really i was just kind of debating on even if i want to put this video out but for all of you that have followed you know the van build this is what we built it for so i wanted to show y'all us coming out here in it actually using it for what we built it for and plus you get to see some uh you get to see some different country um it's been a challenging trip though definitely been a physical trip if you're gonna come out here be ready it's gonna be you're gonna be hiking around and when you're wading in these creeks it's uh big rocks you're having to crawl over them i fell i fell in once today um got water in my waders got soaked but that's just part of it that stretch of the rio grande that we were fishing right by the bridge it was i mean dangerous to be honest with you if you weren't really paying attention to what you were doing you could have fell in pretty quick but that being said uh we built a little campfire didn't actually went out for one last last ditch effort try um i really hope that he can come back and give us a good report that he caught something but he got a couple little bites today but nothing would really really hook up so i don't know but anyhow i thank you guys for watching um you'll probably see us little clips of us going back home and everything but uh i'll see you when we get there guys we made it back in one piece uh we've actually been home a few days now um just been super busy had to catch up on a lot of things when we got back home but um the van ran amazing you know i was kind of to be honest with you i was kind of nervous about taking our you know denton's 1200 astro van on a we we put well over 1500 miles on it probably in four days so uh we definitely rode her hard went through some um hilly country went through some mountains and it never missed a beat i was super impressed with it but uh the trip wasn't exactly how many fish we wanted to catch but we've seen some amazing country and we got to have a lot of fun on along the way so uh, i highly recommend if you uh ever want to go out that way go to that cimarron uh, canyon there it was amazing we're definitely planning on going back next year uh, it's kind of become a personal thing now. Uh, it beat us the first time, so we have to go back and redeem ourselves. But thank you all so much. If you haven't already, like this video. Go ahead to subscribe. Thank you all. And here comes Jesus in an astro van rolling down the strip.